Oh my God. We can see, we are finding a clipped signal. The signal is clipped from one side. So one portion of MOSFETs is working, the negative side. The positive side, it is not working. Why? Because the signal should be like this. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to Haseeb Electronics. Friends, in this video we will go, we will make a practical troubleshooting for this uh, DC inverter AC board. It takes 230 volt AC, rectifies after filter circuit. Here is a fuse NTC, double line filter, harmonics remover, EMI filter. Then after that, here is a bridge rectifier for independent SMD diodes. After that, we have a capacitor, 400 volt. 220 microfarad capacitor. After capacitor, if we see, then this circuit is divided into two portions. If we see this diagram, we have 220 volt, 220 volt, and then we have double line filter NTC in series. Yesterday, we in last video when I was checking it one pin was broken from this NTC. So voltage was not passing here. So we faced problem here, no voltage. And today, okay, after 330 volt, this point we have two sections. One is low voltage section, that is for biasing the processor. And then we have another section, that is inverter section. Here we have six MOSFETs and every pair of MOSFET, one, two, three, four, five, six, every pair is connected like this. 330 volt through fuse connected to MOSFET and ground is connected to other MOSFET. It is one pair. There is a half bridge, uh, half bridge driver. 2304 IR2304 IC we will see in detail and we will check the functions here it takes high and low high side drive and low side drive these two drives are di divided into two portions and these are timely controlled these controlled from processor we have three sections every section is independent and it is being controlled from the main processor okay at first pulse, one FET will work and positive voltage will pass from this area. And in negative cycle, when it, the second FET has to work, the negative pulse will arrive here and it will drive to the second MOSFET. And we will see practically how it is working. So let's start. So we have two sections here, low voltage section TNY254 that is a SNPS inverter section that is stand alone power supply. We got 230 volt after that rectified. After rectification we have two sections. The same voltage are applied to this IC and it generates 3.3 volt for processor and 16 volt and then they are regulated to 6 volt to apply power to the drivers. Now we are going to discuss that. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. I will give a small introduction. In this area, in this area I have T and Y254. This I see, this is standalone switch. This tiny switch family. Yes, this small I see. It have uh, DC input positive here and the transformer is connected to the drain the source is connected to ground so from this voltage it takes the biasing voltage it does not have any separate biasing power supply so it takes biasing from here then it takes a just optocoupler 
that optocoupler is phototronic based. It does not take any feedback. It is just only oscillator. From on this point, I will request all my viewers, anyone who watch my videos, kindly. If you have any query, let me know in the comment box. If we find a voltage here, this optocoupler is phototronic based. Sometime photo photocoupler is photodiode based. The out in the output area there is a photodiode. Some have phototransistor, NPN type. Some are, some of them are PNP type. You can subscribe if you want. If you want to watch my future videos, you can press bell icon button. It's up to you. I don't force to subscribe my channel because I am not a professional YouTuber. I just only share my experience. I whenever I have a free time, I record video and uh, I share my experience. So if it is good for you, it's up to you. You can subscribe. Okay, so let's start. I'm sorry for going away from the topic. No problem. It's my request to let me know in the comment box or write a message to my WhatsApp number. I will appreciate because from your comment, maybe because uh, sometime we are missing something. If you are not understanding any point or if I am going out of the topic, you should clarify. You should redirect me to in good direction or if you have any question regarding electronics any IC you want to understand let me know if you have any question I appreciate my followers they come to my whatsapp numbers they come to my videos and make comments and ask something and I in response I make videos for you so if you are learning something that is good here I have this uh, TNY254 IC it takes only the positive voltage from the transformer coil and at the pin then it makes oscillation to continue oscillation as I see I to continue its oscillation it requires a feedback enable signal that is phototronic that is 4 to 5 8 here is V of Vichy Electronics VO4258. This IC is phototronic based. If we see here, here is phototronic. Has no phototransistor, phototronic. When a signal will appear here, it will just only close the signal. I connected 230 volt here at the input stage and I connected 5 volt signal in this terminal. The negative is in this pin, the leftmost pin, and the rightmost pin is positive. And here we take output voltage three phase. First phase, second phase and third phase. One pin is blank. That is guide pin. So let's start. I will connect power. And we will use oscilloscope. I have 236 volts at the input. Then I will select DC. So we have DC volt 338 volt at the capacitor. This capacitor 338 volt DC. Now we have this TNY switch. From this TNY switch there is a drive to this transformer. Okay. After this after this we have after this transformer, I have a output voltage. I have six volt. I have six volt at at the screen. Just only okay. We will check the other capacitor. it is 3.3 volt 
3.3 volt signal and it has some ripples. There are some ripples. The level is not stable properly. Okay, then we will check the other capacitor. This capacitor has some good signal. We can see here are slight, very little ripples. And this capacitor, it's giving 3.32 volt, but it have ripples. Okay, the voltage at the capacitor must be stable. We can see this level 276 volt, it is stable. So this capacitor, this capacitor is making 3.32 volt, but it have, if I couple AC, we can see we have ripples. We have 40 millivolt ripples and this, these voltage are for the processor. And if processor will find these ripples, it will not work properly. The, the, it, that means we have to replace this capacitor. And we will connect oscilloscope. Oh my god. We can see we are finding a clipped signal. The signal is clipped from one side. So one portion of MOSFETs is working the negative side. The positive side it is not working. Why? Because the signal should be like this. Now we are finding this negative peak. I will show you again. So if we compare this signal, this signal, when the negative FET, negative side signal comes, this FET, this set is working. So we are missing the positive signal from channel 1, phase 1, phase 2 have same problem. Okay, then I will connect center line and outer side. We will check this phase. So, yes, if we see if we see there is a very small signal here in the center. Now we can see very clearly this portion, let me connect it correctly. So our positive peak is not reaching. The negative peak, just only freeze, stop, yes I stopped it. Now we see the negative peak is working and the positive peak is clipped. It is not working. This peak, this peak. So we have problem. The positive sides of FETs are not working. The negative signal, the negative signal is available. The positive side is clipped. So we will see where is the problem. To check this issue, we have to come back here. We have pair of FETs, three pairs. So we have a common problem. We have 
three phases positive voltage are available here and the negative voltage are not available sorry positive voltage are here positive 330 volt here negative voltage here and drive signal is here and here when the positive drive signal appears on this FET so this positive signal will switch positive voltage to the output positive voltage to the output when this negative signal will appear then the ground voltage will be switched here so we are facing problem in these voltage and these voltage are present in the in the bus bar we can check at the bus bar you have to take care DC voltage here is negative side here is negative side and here is positive side we have 300 39 volt in the output but the problem we are not finding voltage at the output why the voltage are available these voltage are present 330 volt present but when this FET tries to turn on it cannot turn on so we have the problem in the driver stage because if one FET is bad the other should give signal we will check again same situation in the second phase same situation so every phase have same okay now FETs it is impossible that three FETs in the three phases go damage no we have problem common problem in the driver stage or maybe from the rear of the driver yes we have three stages and three drivers are independent here is VCC pin number three and four pin number three and four here is a VCC for input here are two stages this I see very unique okay we have line in high low in high, low in and high in low and high two inputs are available here and here we have bising voltage the same voltage through a diode there is a different power supply in the output stage so every every IC have its separate power supply separate capacitor one two three I connected separate ground for every IC this IC, this capacitor for this IC this capacitor for this IC for output stage because it is in the driver stage so it is separate so positive voltage in the input and output and input is separated by this diode this diode so high signal will go to this FET and here is up to 600 volt we can apply and uh, it will give at output at negative cycle negative side we have a load here so we have two drives so our first second and third stage are not giving output in the positive side so we have to check first of all we will check pin number one and two of every IC you can connect ground for every IC is connect very carefully because uh, it have we have to check the input voltage the input voltage are 18 volt and no frequency these are DC voltage regulated so the input is good so we have a good input signal 
input uh, DC voltage. Pin number three, it's okay now. This IC pin number three. Okay, we have 18 volts. That's good. So this IC and then I have to connect the last mouse pin. Yes. If you come to this IC, this IC is driving negative side, but it is not driving the pin number 7. Pin number 7 is far high. You can see pin number 5. We are getting pin number 5. This signal is available. So pin number 5 on this IC, pin number 5 on this IC, pin number 5 on this IC. So negative side is working. Negative side is working. Pin number 5 is to drive the negative side. Pin number 5 to drive negative side. But we are not taking out getting output at pin number 7. So pin number 7 must give a gate signal. So here is no gate signal. This is pin silent. So when this pin is silent, we have to check pin number 1 is getting signal L in high low low and high signal is available just one minute If we see here is no output signal, no output signal, but pin number one have signal and pin number two have signal. So input is okay. Input is okay. If I come to this IC the high side drive is available pin number 2 is available this IC available this IC available this IC available so all all ICs the three ICs are taking command from the processor but the positive side this signal no available pin number 7 no available pin number 5 we have negative signal so in the output we are not finding the output so we have to replace these ICs pin number 5 have signal pin number 5 have signal Pin number 7 must have a drive signal. Pin number 7 must have drive, sig drive signal. So pin number 7 of these ICs are not providing output. So we have to replace these driver ICs. Because uh, these three phases, here is no neutral. Here is no neutral. All ICs must work all together. With a time difference of 120 degree. It is controlled by the processor. The processor is here, downside. So we determined our these driver ICs are to be replaced because they are not driving the positive side of the FETs. These MOSFETs, the positive side, MOSFETs are okay. There is no short, no open because if one is open or short the other will affect it so that is the reason this board is not working thanks for watching if this video is good for you you can like subscribe and share
السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ